the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We meet in the name of our risen Lord, who knows our every need, who hears the cries of our hearts, who feels our deepest pains, and who heals our wounds. Amen. Amen. Welcome to you all to this Eucharist with the name of hands with prayer for healing, um, those who are in our chapel, and also to those who are watching online. You are all most welcome. In Christ Jesus, God's love is made fully known. And through Christ's passion and resurrection, we are here brought to new and abundant life. We now offer ourselves to God in faith, renewing our confidence and trust in his inexhaustible mercy. God of mercy, Lord of life, you are tender towards your children, and your mercy is over all your works. Embrace us with your love. Heal the memories of hurt and failure. Bind up the wounds of past mistakes, and by your forgiveness, make us whole. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in your goodness, and keep you in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The collect for St Cuthbert, Bishop of Lindisfarne, whose feast day is today. Almighty God, who called your servant Cuthbert from following the flock to follow your son and to be a shepherd of your people. In your mercy, grant that we, following his example, may bring those who are lost home to your fold. Through Jesus Christ, your son, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We sit for the readings. A reading from the prophecy of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will watch for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among the scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they've been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries, and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the watercourses, and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the stray, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. The fat of the straw I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. The Lord revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his own name's sake. I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord, and I will seek them out. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. 
I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in your house, the house of the Lord, forever. I myself will search for my sheep, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. In the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, what do you think? If a shepherd has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I tell you, he rejoices over it more than the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of your Father in heaven that one of these little ones should be lost. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Life is so complicated and busy these days that it's sometimes hard to find space and quiet, just to think, to pray, and to be. Some can find God in noise and activity, in the hum of the city, in the creative chaos of family life. Or like Brother Lawrence, the 17th century Carmelite friar, he felt closest to God when he was in the kitchen amongst all the pots and pans. Others have sought to live lives in isolation, seeking the silence in which they could come close to God without any distraction. And today's saint definitely came, comes within the second group. St Cuthbert, bishop and missionary, he actually began life as a shepherd and eventually entered the religious life and became the prior of Lindisfarne Abbey and did a very important task helping the English church to follow Roman usage in place of the Celtic following the Synod of Whitby. But a monastery, even a monastery, proved too busy and noisy a place for St Cuthbert. And he spent eight years as a hermit on Inner Farm, a small island off the coast of Northumberland. Like many of our friends in Kagera, Tanzania, St Cuthbert was a subsistence farmer. And as he lived as a hermit, he grew his own barley and vegetables to eat. Perhaps because he lived the right life for his personality, one of solitude, which enabled him to be in tune with the divine. People sought him out. Uh, they, they get the boat over to his island, and if he would actually speak to them, he would give the most wonderful spiritual counsel and healing and help. And in fact, in his absence, Cuthbert was elected a bishop, and letters and messages were sent to him on the island saying, we want you to be our bishop. But initially, he refused to leave. Eventually, the king himself, with some of the senior clergy, sailed across to the island and said, come on, Cuthbert, uh, try to persuade him that the church needed him. And this is how a historian of the time uh, describes the occasions. This is from the, the Venerable Bede. <coughs> At last, Cuthbert came forth, very tearful from his beloved hiding place, and was taken to the synod. Very reluctantly he was overcome by their unanimous decision and forced to submit to the yoke of the episcopacy. 
So spending all those years focusing on God in solitude made Cuthbert a good shepherd to his people. Although it was a cost when he had to leave that isolation and deal with people. Lent is now, dear friends, drawing to its climax. We've now entered Passion Tide, which gives us just a week and a half until Easter Day. So I'm asking you, as I'm asking myself, what is God calling us to in these last few days? Like Cuthbert, do we need to seek out some solitude and peace to reflect? intentionally make some space and some quiet? Or maybe, like Brother Lawrence, do we need to get ourselves stuck into some service to our brothers and sisters amongst the pots and pans or hospitality? Do we need to find God in that place? It's not too late to respond in solidarity with Jesus. Just remember when you have felt closest to God and try to recreate that if you can, whether you are a Cuthbert or a Lawrence. Amen. Amen. So we offer our prayers in the name of God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord God, at this time of Lent, we pray for the grace to find space to listen to you. We pray, whether that's in the noisiness of the world, and our loved ones, or social media, or whether that's in the peace garden, or in church, or anywhere that we can find peace. But we do pray that we may draw closer to you this Lent as we pray for the whole church, as we draw towards the cross and Jesus' journey and way of the cross, that we go towards him with thankfulness for what he accomplished on that cross. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. And we particularly pray for the countries of the world. There is so much conflict and war in various places. Lord, we pray for Sudan this morning coming into the news again. We pray for ongoing wars we forget about, like Syria or Yemen. We continue to bring Ukraine before you. We continue to bring the people of the Holy Land and Gaza before you. And especially pray where there are young people and children and young mothers trying to feed them wherever they may be in the world. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for our community here in the parish of St. Maribone, as we pray for other churches um, and their communities. We thank you for the work with Young Church. We pray for all our children and young people, that they may flourish in their education, that they may flourish as they grow up, that they may hear about you as their beloved Saviour. And we pray that all our children and young people and we ourselves learn to grow more like Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. <coughs> and a couple of prayers that have been offered. Somebody praying here that they may overcome the worries and upsets that keep them down. And another person that prays that peace will be with their mum and their dad. And so we pray 
um, and give thanks for all those who visit this church and pray that they may find solace, that they may, may, may find you, Lord God, here. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. So we bring before you those who need our prayers in the ways of healing and wholeness. So we pray for Ian and Royston, for Lorna, Jane and Penny, for Ben and Rosanna, also praying for Yvonne and David and Juliet, for Charmaine, Nicola, Yvette, Anne and Caroline. So we pray for their healing and their recovery. Lord, in your mercy, yeah, hear yeah, our yeah. prayer. And Lord, we pray for those of our loved ones who have gone before us in the sign of faith, and for those who have died recently, uh, including Christina Sada, and for those whose anniversary of death is this week. We pray for John Chater, priest and the former rector of this parish. Also for Christopher Harrison, and for anyone who is on our hearts this week. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let thy perpetual shine upon them. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayer. And as we have a, a brief moment of silence, may we pray that God, we can hear uh, God speaking to us, that we may feel what his call is on each of our lives, whether that's with quiet contemplation or for service or a combination. Merciful Father, I accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. spirit we are all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and build up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. you. Let's offer to one another a sign of peace. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and through your hands have made, to come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will come for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, 
who lives on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, ever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it. In remembrance of me. Amen. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. We celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. We bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this <coughs> one bread and one cup so that we in the company of Cuthbert the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. 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 with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. <coughs> our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, Thou deliver us from evil, for thy eyes the kingdom, thou art the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we share in one bread. Now of God, give us this bread. Take, take away this sin of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. The Lord of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. The Lord of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy of receiving you, but let me say your word and I shall be
prayer of spiritual communion for those who are watching online. A loving God in union with Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make you Christ. I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I'm exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptized and with your son who gave his life for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Holy Father, who gathered us around the table of your Son to share this meal with the whole household of God. In that new world, where you reveal the fullness of your peace, gather people of every race and language to share with your servant Cuthbert and all your saints in the eternal banquet of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of the Son, Son Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Strengthen us in the power of your spirit to live and work for your praise and glory. Amen. And so we offer the name of the hands with prayer for healing, for yourself or for another. I will begin by praying for those who are watching online. Come, Holy Spirit. In the name of God, and trusting in his might alone, receive Christ's healing touch to make you whole. May Christ give you healing of body, mind and spirit deliver you from every evil and give you his peace Amen. Amen.
dying and rising from Christ. And he follows us in your love. May we have been refreshed with the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Be renewed by your Holy Spirit. And made ready for the coming of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God our Father, by whom we are called adventures of which we cannot see the ending, and by paths as yet untrodden, to us faith to go out always with good courage, knowing that in the power of your Holy Spirit we are made strong, and that your love will never fail us. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. God.